everyone, and welcome to another week of Trailer Thursdays. The first trailer I'm going to talk to you guys about today is for a movie called Ice Man, starring Ray Liotta and Michael Shannon. And it actually comes out in a few days, so um, I'm actually looking forward to seeing this. I think they're two like fantastic actors. It actually looks pretty interesting. This is actually a movie about a notorious serial killer. He kind of plays like these two different roles, like one minute he's a serial killer and the next he's like a family man. So it's kind of like um, if you've ever seen BBC's Jekyll, it's basically like that. I think that it actually looks pretty intense and for these two guys like to play these roles, um, it looks like something, you know, I would definitely see them, like, being really good at because they're kind of, uh, they've kind of played similar roles, these guys, but, um, they just have this disposition. And, uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys thought of, um, the Iceman, because the Iceman cometh. And for the second trailer of the day, it is for Violet and Daisy, starring Alexis Bledel and Shear Ronan. Kind of play these two girls. It's almost like, um, not really Bonnie and Clyde, but just sort of, um, going, like, around with these guns. And they're just acting all crazy and just being very bad. So they end up sneaking in the house of... Um, James Gandolfini, and apparently there is like this other um, event that's going on, so you never know like if they're gonna get caught or not. Um, and this actually almost reminds me of the Bling Ring a little bit, but sort of um, basically um, with the aspect of being sort of um, mysterious. And these girls, like, I mean, they just seem to be up to no good, and um, it actually looks pretty interesting. I don't know if I'm going to see it or not. So, um, who knows. And you guys can let me know in the comments about this movie as well. And for the third and final trailer of the day is for a movie called Byzantium starring Gemma Arterton and Shirsha Ronan. It kind of has this sort of dark feel to it. It's just about these two girls that are sort of living in this town, but apparently it's just getting darker from there. They have this thing with blood, so I take it they're kind of vampires. This vampire craze is just never gonna go away, I'm just saying. As far as acting goes, you know, I haven't been a huge fan of Gemma Arterton, especially since I last saw her in Hansel and Gretel, Witch Hunters, and of course, Shusha Ronan, like, I mean, she was pretty good um, in some of her movies that she's done. I don't know uh, if I can say the same for the host, I mean, it was okay. But for a movie like this, I definitely think it's the eyes that are just going to sell it for me because her eyes are just amazingly, like, bright blue. And I think with the whole vampire type feel to it and just, like, this obsession with blood, especially with these two girls, um, I think that's definitely going to be a, an it factor. It says that it's by the makers of Interview with a Vampire, and of course I loved that movie, and especially the dark tone that it was going with, and the effects and the visuals that came along with that, so I think this is definitely like that type of movie to see um, if you're a fan of Interview with a Vampire. I'd say it has like a really interesting storyline, and it's not like your typical like boy falls in love with a girl, because there are definitely some romances that are going to happen, of course you have to have some kind of romance, especially with vampires. I think it looks very, like, sort of classy, classic, and old-fashioned by sort of um, putting, like, vampires in modern times. I would just like to see that again, especially um, with what happened in Interview with the Vampire. I mean, that's pretty much, like, it seems like it's one of the key inspirations of that. Byzantium, I think that's a really interesting name for this movie. Don't know what, where it derives from, you know, could be the name of the town, who knows. You know, it looks like there's cults going on, so um, there's definitely going to be maybe some sacrifices and um, just sort of risks that are going to be taken uh, by being like these type of people. It'll be really interesting to see. I don't know if I'm going to see it or not, but if I do, uh, I'll definitely put out a review for you guys. You guys can let me know in the comments what you guys think of this trailer as well as any of the other trailers i talked to you guys about today. As always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, come back every week for a trailer Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you guys later.